Good morning and greetings and salutations, YouTube. I know, I look scary. I'm doing a quick early morning clay mask. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening. But I wanted to show you guys how crazy the sky looks right now. From all like the smoke and ash and stuff, like the sky is like literally orange and like, oh, it's so crazy. So like over there it's like super orange. But then, if you go over here, It's actually like kind of clear over there, which is good because before it's been still like pretty filled with ash. So, but you can see like the orange cast that everything has still from all the smoke and stuff. But I did want to show you this because I just discovered this last night. Oh my gosh. Look at that. She has a new leaf coming out. Ah! So excited because this leaf is literally brand new and another leaf is already forming so that is like very exciting for me and hopefully it'll be like out by next week this coming week yeah maybe right all right you guys guess where i am i guess who i'm with it's john say hi john hi john let's go inside all right all right all right looks like they have a lot of new handbags that they brought out since yesterday when i was last here so hopefully we can find some good stuff oh my gosh how funny is this oh this would have been cool except the handles are so damaged i wonder how much it is Seven dollars? Wow. Take a look at that. That Michael Kors that I left here yesterday is still here. Is this Forever 21? Yeah. That one was five bucks. Here's a B. Mikowski. Let's see how much this one's going for. That three dollars looks like it and this is why it's three dollars but maybe it'll be worth it should we try and clean it it's not a hole if anything it could be dyed uh, I'm apprehensive but let's think about it okay let's see what else we can find here almost thought that was a Dooney but it's not some joy, Iman. Is this a Michael Kors? It is. It's missing the little, the little medallion though. Ooh, fifteen dollars. I don't know, Michael Kors. Oh no, look at those pen marks. Atrocious. Oh, this coach is cool, but this one's thirty bucks. I love the yellow lining inside. Uh, what do you guys think? Yes, no? I don't know. Maybe I'll hold off. I'm intrigued by this gold color. What is this? This one is... Harris? Ferris? Oh, there's a little yellow fossil right here. Ah, oh, $25 though. Relic. What is this? There's this lamb satchel, but it's $75. Hold it on that and see if it goes on sale. Gigi Hill. I just found this, which I think might be a Ferragamo. And it is an authentic vintage Ferragamo for only $3. Sold. Alright, upon further inspection, it is severely damaged. So I think. We're gonna leave this because I don't think any part of this is salvageable. But it's cool to see a Ferragama. That kind of looks like a Balenciaga, doesn't it? What is this? Nothing. 
There's this bag right here. Let's see what this is. Croft and Barrow. Oh, this is that B. Mikowski that was here yesterday. Okay, so this is vintage. Ralph Lauren might be pretty cool. Plus, I really like the crest. And then I just bought it this Mark by Mark Jacobs. It's actually not the worst. All of that is superficial stuff. That's whatever has a crossbody strap now. That's a top handle. It's still gorgeous. It's black. Yeah, black. Gorgeous. This is 25, I think. 25. I just bought of this coach. And it looks authentic. It's just like literally like dirty. Like with makeup or something inside. And it's only $7. This is totally fixable. Watch. And voila, it already looks a million times better. I think we're gonna get this too. Alright, just found this fabric Michael Kors. Holder bag. $25. Not horrible. It looks to be in pretty good condition, so this might be a yes for sure. Yeah, inside's pretty clean. I've never seen this version of Hair Juku Girls or Hair Juku Lovers before. $15. Interesting. I just found this Joy Grayson wallet. It has a little water damage, but. It's only 99 cents. Just found this cute coach double zip satchel. It was 25 bucks. It's missing the crossbody strap there. They have some Chanel sunglasses. Let's see what else they have. They have some ray right there, but I think they're fake. John's carrying all the stuff that I got. So many bags. So excited to show you guys what I got. Oh my gosh, I almost lost you guys. I left you guys inside John's car, then I forgot that I left you guys there, so. Anyway, we're heading into the car right now. Oh. So we're in the car, we're gonna go over to the post office, and then uh, we're gonna go to the Goodwill. Let's go. All right, you guys, just got to the Goodwill. Let's go inside. All righty, what is this? Urban Expressions. Didn't have anything in the case. Everything's pretty much what it was yesterday. Guess. They didn't have any cards, I just checked right now. So I guess everything's out already for the time being. Style & Co, Nicole Miller, Imperio Armadi, ooh, Imperio Armadi, suit jacket, from in Canada, Hugo Boss, John Lear, California, Worse. Sorry, I can't even read what this says, there's a Ralph Lauren dress right here, size 14, it's like a cute design, like I like it, should I get this? This would actually probably fit mom too, if anything. I'm gonna think about this. I'm gonna hold on to it. Oh my gosh, I just found like the coolest thing ever. I would have had so much fun like if I was like a kid jumping on this thing. Oh my gosh, it even kind of looks leopard printy. And it's only a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is amazing. It's tufted. I can't. This is like a bed. Oh, look at this chair. Oh, look at this little airplane model thing. It's originally $75. This is cute. Oh, it's broken. All right, you guys, we are looking through the home decor. It's Friday. I've, it's like Friday. Everything is depleted from yesterday's dollar sale. Oh, uh, I remember these were broken. This is cool. Made in Kenya. Wow, that's intricate. 
You know, these could be used as planters. <gasps> you know, that'd be so cool, like Bottega Veneta-esque, like planter, like a leather planter. I really want some leather baskets. I remember they had those expensive leather baskets from Pottery Barn and I really wanted them for planters, but they were so expensive, so I didn't get them. And then I saw them at the Restoration Hardware Outlet and they were even more expensive, but slightly cheaper, but still expensive. And I didn't get those either. <laughs> I'm waiting for them to pop up at the Goodwill. Do you guys think that'll ever happen? Ooh, one can only dream. Okay, let's put the energy out there, and one day we're gonna find a fabulous leather basket thing to use as a planter at the Goodwill. Oh my gosh, this little penguin mug. Tea fort. Ooh, these are colorful. Rena collection. This looks almost like anthropology esque for sure. And it's Pioneer Woman. Ooh, Pioneer Woman. Her stuff is always really fun and floral. That's like totally my aesthetic. You guys, the elephant is still here. Oh. I'm still sad that it's broken. It, if, if it goes for a dollar and it's still here, I'm totally gonna buy it. It looks good from this angle. You can never, you'll never tell that he's missing a, a tusk. You guys, they still have my cart. $30. All right, so I'm looking at these Doc Martin boots. They're made in England. They're not horrible. I kind of like that vintage look of them. But I don't know how popular the low cut ones are, though I would probably prefer low cuts for myself. Because I don't know how high cut like boots are not my favorite, but I don't know. Checking out the rest of the shoes first before we make any decisions. Who's ready to go swimming? You? How about you, Elizo? Oh, we're eating snacks first. Okay, let's go! Woo! Let's go swimming! Yay! The smoke is finally not super intense. How's the water? Is it fun? Look at Eliza sticking his little foot in there. Testing the waters. Come on, Eliza, get in. Woo! Ooh, whoa. <laughs> Uh, it's so beautiful right now. I feel like the fire and the smoke finally subsided. It's still a little blah over there, but so far so good. Out of the pool now, mom bought some El Pio Loco and she got me a taco salad. I'm so excited about it. Alright you guys, we are back inside my room now and today was such an awesome day and dinner was delicious. I love that um, it's the double chicken tostada and avocado, double chicken and avocado tostada salad. So delicious from a pollo loco. I don't know what it is about it, but it's so good. I love a tostada salad so much. Um, and the Veterans Thrift was so kind to us today because we got some amazing bags and I'm working on getting everything listed in the shop tonight, at least from Veterans Thrift. Um, so expect everything from that shop from this morning shopping trip to be in the shop so um if you see anything that you liked just check it out uh it's hadrian.com and it should be there um and also we did so much stuff today we managed to package i think i'm up to i'm up to date with all of the orders purchased um up until today at noon so if your order was placed after um friday august 10th at noon then your orders will ship out on Monday, August 10, 11, 13. Oh my gosh, I can't even do plain math anymore. Um, but yeah, so, and what else was I going to tell you guys? Oh, so yeah, the Veterans Thrift was awesome. I pretty much, um, let me see, I actually have everything kind of like right here. So, um, I did end up getting the, um, what is her name? Grayson J Joy. Grayson wallet. It does have a little bit of a water stain right there. I want to see if I can get it out. So, I don't know. That 
Kiwi cleaner that I kind of, that I got has been kind of honestly been working wonders. So I want to see how well it works on these items. I um I also got the Mark Jacobs bag, of course. I had to get it. And then I did get the really dirty um coach. I don't know if I'm gonna get this up in the shop because it does have a little bit of work that needs to be done, so I might have to hold off on listing that one in the store. Um, I did get this really awesome coach, which I really, really like. It's like a double zip, and I love, like, kind of the bowler shape of it. It's awesome. It does have, um, D-rings for a long strap, but it does not come with a long strap, unfortunately, so. But e one can easily be added, and usually, a lot, like, usually you have, like, a crossbody bag in black in your collection is easy or just like attach any color I would I like a brown would be really great on that any color honestly black it just goes with everything um now this one is so cool because I've never ever ever seen this hair Juku lovers print anywhere ever and I really really like it so it's really cute um and it's in fantastic condition it's like new so that's gonna go up in the shop um and then I did also get this B. Mikowski, I think this one was like $3 or $4. How much were you? I don't remember. I took out the prices already because I was going to like start working on them. Um, I believe I got it for like 3 or $4, right? And it does have like this large water stain in the front. And that's the primary reason why I got it. Because I wanted to practice on the bag. And either way, the whole bag could just be dyed black. Um, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but really excited about that. And where is it? It's like somewhere here. I also did end up getting the large hobo clutch, which was really, really nice. Such a great clutch. And um, from Goodwill, I did end up getting the Doc Martens, and I did get that, uh, what brand was it? I think it was a Ralph Lauren dress. Ralph Lauren. I think it was Ralph Lauren. I also did get that black Ralph Lauren tote. So I'm going to work on getting all those items listed, um, except for the the two, um, the B. Mikowski and that one coach bag listed in the shop because those I think will have um, the repairs are too much for me to finish tonight and list so but all the other items um, I'm going to definitely try and have listed up in the shop so that when you guys see this video it'll be up there if you guys are interested in any of those and I did list a ton of other new things already too and yeah <laughs> I'm so excited um what else was I gonna tell you guys um oh swimming was so much fun we didn't go swimming for too long because I got home, I started listing a little bit, and then Elizo came down and he was like, I wanna go swimming. And my mom and my sister were out there doing some shopping. Um, John was here when I got here and so is dad. Um, dad just had a little bit of um, some stuff done to his teeth. So he was resting in his room and then John was in his room and yeah, so, um, Zach, Eliza, and I ended up going swimming until mom and my sister came home, and they brought food, and then we ate, and it was just really fun, so it was a good night, um, and I cannot wait for this weekend. Tomorrow is gonna be awesome, so tomorrow we're gonna go thrifting, so I'm super excited. You guys know that I usually, um, go thrifting, like, once or twice for, like, the whole day, usually on the weekends, so I'm very excited to go out thrifting, and it's gonna be a ton of uh, fun. Sorry, I keep, like, fussing with my hair. I really need a haircut. Um. I, oh, I totally blanked out. Oh, wait, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to do today's thrift shout-outs. So, um, I have them actually right here. Hopefully it didn't get deleted. Okay, there you are. Um, okay, so this is from Angela Jones. And Angela Jones, I actually knew an Angela Jones when I used to work at Borders, so that's awesome. You guys have like you guys are like name twins. Hi Angela, how are you doing today? Um, and she says, "Thank you, Hadrian. Another fantastic video. Why? Thank you so much, Angela. I appreciate that. You are going to need a shelf with 26 spots for your epic collection. And she, I think she's talking about my mugs. And I honestly, I probably will need more than 26 once I have them all collected because I have multiples of a lot of letters." Um, I have to tell you, I just found a Patricia Nash bag for $4.99 at Goodwill. That is awesome! I It is rare for me to find Patricia Nash bags. Um, I have one 
small Patricia Nash like kind of wristlet shoulder bag in the shop and that's it but I love her handbags they're amazing whenever I find them at like Crossroads or any of those places they're usually really really expensive so I usually don't pick them up but they are so awesome um hopefully I find some really soon so let's like put that energy out into the universe universe Patricia Nash I would love to find some because I love her bag so much um <laughs> so she got uh Found a Patricia Nash bag for $4.99 at Goodwill. I literally exclaimed, hot dog. That is awesome. Kisses from Florida. P.S. Hope the fires are extinguished soon. Thank you so much, Angela. Um, you know what? Actually, I think the fire, at least the one by me, I think it might be fully out. Um, like, this evening when the kids and I went swimming, the air looked like cleanest it's looked since the fire started. And I didn't see, like, any, like, looming smoke or whatever in the sky so i was like you know what the kids really want to go swimming so let's go and they do start school next week so that's crazy they went to go meet their teachers today how cute is that oh that's so cute okay um oh t baker says thanks for your video have a great day thank you i hope you have a great day too um and then ashley salinas says my entire apartment is furnished with Goodwill items thanks to Adrian. I couldn't be prouder. <laughs> Honestly, that's awesome. Um, I have never loved decor more than I do now. Love you, Adrian. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. Okay, let me tell you what I love about thrifted decor. So, when you... What I love most about decor, and it's, and it's not just because, like, it's beautiful, but I love the story. And um, whenever my family and I, like, we go on vacations, we like to find, like, decorative items that we can purchase and bring home with us. We can always remember that trip. So we love taking pictures, and then we love, like, finding, like, a little knickknack or something really cool to bring home with us. Like a pot or, like, some sort of figurine or something. And that's, like, what I love. And then, like, whenever I see that, I know I remember. Um, but... When you go to thrifting at the Goodwill, it's kind of like done for you. But then you also have the story of, oh my gosh, like, where did you get this? And you can be like, oh, I got it from the Goodwill. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, it's so fabulous. Like, that's so awesome. Like, I didn't know you could find stuff, that, like, stuff like that at the Goodwill. And then you can be like, yeah, and it was only like $4.99. And it's like really fabulous and really cool. And if it was purchased from like a retail shop, it would have been like 100 or more than $100. And like, I love like that kind of story. I think that's really cool. And it just like, speaks volumes for, like, the really awesome stuff that you can find thrifting. And how, like, honestly, like, the possibilities are endless. Um, you really just have to, like, try really hard. And also, also um, a lot of people say, like, oh, they don't have that many thrift stores, like, around them. Like, they have to drive out, like, 30 minutes and all that stuff to go thrifting. Um, honestly, like, I, I, I think I've said this numerous times. When I go out thrifting on the weekends... I will drive out like an hour and a half to go thrifting. Like I will sit in traffic for like two hours. Honestly, it's crazy, but I do it because that's where I like. That's where I find the good stuff. So honestly, like sometimes you will have to venture out, but it's fun. You should make a day of it and try to find an area um, that's drivable within a day where you can visit numerous stores. And I go to about like six, seven, eight stores sometimes in a day. And that's how I film enough for the whole week. So it's pretty fun and I love it so much. And I wouldn't change it for the world. But it would be kind of nicer to live closer by. It. But then it would also be horrible. Because, <laughs> yeah. Um, another one is from Luz Ochoa. She says, Hi, Hadrian. Do you know what day I can donate to Goodwill and get a coupon? Also, do you get the coupon per donation? Because we use that coupon at a different Goodwill location. Sorry for so many questions. Okay, Luz. Um, now, this one is a little bit of a tricky question um, because all Goodwills are different and not all Goodwills will offer coupons. And that's not just for Goodwills. It's for pretty much all um, thrift stores. Um, and I know at some Goodwills, they have certain days, at least here in Southern California, and I believe it's um, most, some, actually some, of the LA County stores. The LA County is just, like, so huge. They, like, break it up into, like, it's weird. Um, there's, like, only certain cities, and they have, like, their own dedicated websites and all that and mailing lists and everything. So, you honestly, you have to ask. Um, so, I know for the ones here that I normally go to where I can get the coupons, um, those stores... Um, our Wednesdays, if you donate, like, 
for like your entire donation you get a coupon and you can only use them on Wednesdays and you can use them at any of like the locations within that region um, and then there's another store there's another store at in like Orange County that I go to and that store has its own special coupon just for that store so some stores have very like have store specific coupons that are only for the store um, and sometimes they'll have like a special promotion from like that shopping center um, which is how I usually get the coupons for that location um, or um, sometimes they'll actually give them away like I've seen them like they have like a special event and they'll give away coupons at a specific location and you have to go to that exact location to use the coupon and I know for savers um, I think it's good at all savers the coupons um, and it's per um, you have to like I think it's like per six bags of donations of like of clothes or whatever then you get a 30% off coupon and sometimes they will have special like weeks or like a special week or like like a certain amount of time where you get double points so instead of donating six bags to get a 30% off coupon you can just donate three so um, there's lots of things you just honestly you just have to ask to find out because it's really it's honestly different everywhere so it's always good just to find out so you can find the best coupons and um, the best discounts because you know even if you're shopping at the thrift store it's always nice to also have a discount you know so and also the color sales are crazy because I know in, I hear in other states some states have two colors a week that go on sale um, and sometimes locations here they'll have special sales where two colors will go on sale and then um, I know certain regions in Southern California um, have the dollar sale on Thursday when the color of the week goes a dollar and then other regions don't have that at all they never have a dollar sale they just have the 50% off for the entire week and then they change colors so whew, that was like a bit of a mouthful <laughs> um, what else what else what else let's answer one more question um, Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hi, Hadrian. It's so funny. Miss Philly found the same looking Birkin bag and bought it yesterday. Just weird that you guys find the same things days apart. That's so funny. And the funny thing is Miss Philly is actually in Canada and I'm in Southern California. So it's like, it's crazy. I feel like sometimes, um, stores like Savers, I think like, they will get donations or like will buy because I know like um other uh like chain uh thrift stores do this too where they will buy like pallets and stuff and then um they will like just disperse them throughout and then like stores will have like kind of like the same items sometimes and because I noticed that <laughs> and I noticed sometimes they'll have like multiples of the same item and it's like oh like that's kind of weird so I think that that might happen and I know uh, I don't think they have savers up in Canada. I think it's called Value Village. But again, yeah, someone told me that they are like sister companies or sister stores. So I think it might be highly probable. Um, and uh, one last comment, and this is from AADY1129. Hi, Hadrian. I love everything you found. Those pumpkins and pottery barn items. Smiley face. I love your humor. Your inner grandma and sassy babies had me dying. I look forward to seeing your videos every day. And because of you, I've been going to the Goodwill at least once a week. Found some stuff that I love. Happy Friday. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, I, I love, I love it. Like, when you guys tell me that um, I'm the reason why you guys go thrifting. I feel like that's so cool. And that... You, you guys are finding like amazing things at the thrift store. I feel like it's so like, I don't know, it's so rewarding. And it's just, it makes me so happy whenever like, even if my videos just make you guys happy, honestly, like that just means the world to me. And that's all I could ever ask. Even if you like don't go thrifting, you just like thrift vicariously through me or just enjoy like the videos and like hanging out with me. I, I love it. So thank you guys so much for all of your kind and positive words because you know I believe positivity is what the world really needs and really is all that it should have, you know? So um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to tune into this morning's video, this morning's thrifting video that um, went up and the new one goes up tomorrow bright and early at 7 and the new vlog goes up at 2. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all later. Bye! 
All right, you guys, I'm at the cases, and we have this giant pink shield, and I'm living for it. It's huge. It's probably like two of my hands put together, and it's still bigger. It's so cool. <laughs> but I'm looking at the other stuff inside the case, too. We still have that really cool frog, but he's so expensive. And he's missing an eyeball. And he has sunglasses. That, like, pink container 